Now if you'd like to create new categories, you would go in the same place you used when you created categories for your elements. In fact, if you look at this category section, there is no uh, there is no section for notifications categories. The elements and the notifications share the same set of categories. So this is something that you know as as you're working uh, with these, you're, you're probably going to find it's very useful, you know, to take uh, to create some categories to help you keep track of you know the different statuses, the different things you're working on. Oh, let's say this is something that's uh, it's currently being staged. So you you choose staged or staging, etc. So that's how we would create these categories. We exploit the categories both in the elements and the notifications by going into overview. So uh, let's just sort these by category. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, currently I've got maintenance and supervisory, but if I decide that this goes into a different category, I just go over here. And let's say this is going to be um, obsolete. As you saw, you can also have things in more than one category. So if I decide this is supervisory, but it's just in the staging, then I've got this appearing in two different places here.